Like I said, every direction they can walk. Just walk them right through the center of traffic. Like nobody matters but them. Look, people don't even know what to do. Look, they just cut right in front of them. Police there. I don't give a shit. Disrespectful. I'm glad I don't live over there. This is the heart of downtown Chicago. Turned into a chaotic mess. Unbelievable. Looks like a paddy wagon parked in the center of the street. damn people. Look at them. Just cutting across right in the center of traffic. This is a major road. This isn't some side street. These people just walking right through the center of it. Like they don't have no common sense. Look at that shit. These people are just trying to get home from work. You have all these knuckleheads. They ain't got nothing better to do.
If you visit Chicago, I wouldn't come to the city. Or Illinois, I wouldn't come to the city. I'd go out to the suburbs. I don't even know if I'd come to this state if I didn't already live here. Go to Florida, where they make sense. It's more of the same. Probably gonna fast forward through some of these videos. You hear them cars in the background? That's them drag racing down my street. Idiots. The mayor's announcement really sounds like uh, young people of color are uh, being told that they are unwelcome in Millennium Park, which should be a park that all people, regardless of their oh, skin color, oh, should be allowed here. to enjoy. You're not dodging bullets. Meantime, Mayor Lightfoot says she respects the ACLU. But Tuesday, Dane Placo reports the city's business community now warning the downtown violence could have disastrous repercussions. It's the number one tourism draw in the Midwest, but Millennium Park has increasingly been attracting trouble. The scene devolved into one of chaos and violence. Mayor Lori Lightfoot today taking dramatic steps after hundreds of teens, prompted by social media, flooded the park Saturday night. There were fights, thefts, and a shooting near the Bean that killed 16-year-old Shondell Holiday of the Roseland neighborhood. After police closed the park, the crowd spilled into the loop 
where there were two more shootings and dozens of teens arrested. Today, I'm signing an executive order to move that curfew back on weekends to 10 p.m. The mayor says she's left with no choice but to tighten the curfew and ban unaccompanied minors from Millennium Park on weekend evenings. On weekends to 10 p.m. The mayor says she's left with no choice but to tighten the curfew and ban unaccompanied minors from Millennium Park on weekend evenings. Clearly we need a strategy and all the mayor is doing today is trying to find cover. 15th Ward Alderman yes, and mayoral exactly. candidate Ray Lopez anymore. says the He's mayor's playing whack-a-mole. We need a citywide strategy to address this because if you squeeze here, crime's going to go over here. We need a strategy and all the mayor is doing today is trying to find cover. 15th Ward Alderman yes, and exactly. mayoral candidate Ray Lopez anymore. says the He's mayor's playing whack-a-mole. We need a citywide strategy to address this because if you squeeze here, crime's going to go over here. And, and the downtown crime appears to be having an economic impact. Chicago hotels are running at just a 57% occupancy, by far the lowest of any major American city. Nobody for us in the hotel there. industry, we were really excited for this summer uh, and the recovery that it was going to help us bring from the pandemic. And I think crime and public safety can almost under uh, single-handedly undercut the entire recovery that we had planned on for this summer. Dane Flacco, Fox 32 Chicago. Couldn't run. He was a big guy, so he couldn't run. He got caught less than 100 feet away. Couldn't run. He was a big guy, so he couldn't run. He got caught less than 100 feet away.